Hi, and welcome to the Todex e-commerce platform, providing non-stop integrated websites that work for your business. This video will show an overview of the changes we've made to the 16.2 and 17.0 releases into the Todex e-commerce platform, offering four new features, 12 improvements, and 23 bug fixes. In the platform 17.0 release, we've added a new payment type that allows any websites hosted on the platform to have those orders paid for using the Afterpay's Buy Now Pay Later payment services. By allowing users and customers pay for orders using Afterpay service, it allows them to purchase their products without having to pay for them first. Afterpay will initially cover the cost of the order for the business who's doing the selling and handle charging the customer in small incremental amounts in the future, typically over four incremental payments to recoup the money and the cost of the order. Todex's e-commerce platform integration to Afterpay makes it easy to set up the payment service on a hosted website after an Afterpay merchant account has been created first. Once set up in a hosted website, users can choose the Afterpay payment service at checkout and are redirected to Afterpay's website to complete the payment. Then they are redirected back to the original website to finish the order submission. By using Afterpay's payment service, it may lead to increased sales since Afterpay is a widely used payment platform and may be the preferred payment option for many customers who are purchasing in the retail space. Within the 17.0 Totex e-commerce platform release, we've added the ability to embed Google's address search and address autocomplete features within the user registration, order checkout and submission, as well as user address updating areas on content managed websites hosted on the platform using Google's map service with its Places API. This allows users to quickly find an address and automatically populate many of the address form fields without having to manually key the data in each form field individually. This in turn can speed up the user registration and order checkout workflows by providing streamlined experiences that can help increase the likelihood of sales going through e-commerce hosted websites. Additionally, it can provide cleaner address data and reduce the chances of erroneous address data being keyed incorrectly. That in turn can reduce problems during dispatch and delivery of ordered products, reducing business costs and saving time. In the 16.2 platform release, we've added a new capability to set an, a delivery address status against orders raised in websites hosted on the platform, as well as sending out email notifications to customers when an order's delivery status changes keeping them informed as orders progress through dispatch and delivery stages. The orders delivery status field can be changed by administrator users, such as a business backend or warehousing staff, as the order progresses through the processing, picking, packing, dispatch and delivery processes, as well as when orders fail at any of these stages. An orders delivery status can be changed from awaiting packaging to packed, loaded, in transit, delivered, lost in transit, damaged in transit, cancelled, among other statuses. If the orders delivery status changes, then there is ability to automatically send out an email to the user who raised the order, notifying them about the change, as well as containing a customizable message for each delivery status type. Additionally, at any time, administrator users can send out a delivery status notification providing an update of where the order is currently at with an optional customizable message. This feature can provide a great way of keeping customers in the loop as the order progresses through dispatch and delivery processes and it can be used to communicate when order deliveries become exceptional. By providing customers with greater feedback at key points, it can provide a better customer service that may lead to increased awareness, satisfaction and future business opportunities and sales an improvement that we've added to the platform to be able to calculate and display indicative freight unit totals when products are added to baskets within content managed web pages hosted on the Todex e-commerce platform. The freight unit data displayed can be indicative of the total size, volume and weight of all the product quantities currently in the user's basket and how all these products may be packaged up together. This freight unit data can be displayed within the basket summary area and within the basket product listing areas allowing the user to be informed of the amount of space being filled up in a freight container being used for the delivery. It can show both the volume and the weight amount of the freight units and the total number of freight units that are required to deliver all of the ordered products. This feature may be particularly important to reduce the amount of empty space occurring in freight deliveries or compel customers to order more products to fill up and reduce freight surcharge costs. It is a feature useful for high volume trading such as filling pallets or containers of goods being shipped. In the 16.2 platform release, we have enhanced the account inquiry back orders feature, where for back order records queried by users from a connected business system, there is the ability to display stock availability for each of the product lines 
listed within the back order. Within a content managed website, the customer account back order area can be configured to show either the available stock amount for each product or the high, low and none stock levels. This feature can be very useful for users who are wanting to see how many products in the back order are now back in stock. It may also provide a guide as to how long it may take for the back-ordered stock to be available for delivery. This may then provide further guidance on when customers may expect to receive the products that they had previously ordered once the product is now being replenished. Ultimately, this may help increase awareness and enable customers to better plan and help mitigate against supply chain issues. And it may also reduce the need for communication with these customers because now they know how many products in a particular back order are still waiting to be replenished. In the 17.0 platform release, we have added an improvement where for several different types of areas that list products on any content managed websites, we've added the ability to show up to three different layout options for each of the product records. This allows users to change the appearance of layouts, for example, showing products in a simple list view, in a grid view, or within a tool view. With this feature, it makes it easier and quicker to support multiple layouts in various products listings without having to resort to complex browser side scripting that was previously required. If the user selects a preferred layout option in one type of product listing area, the same layout option will be remembered and can be shown in another supported product listing area, such as a favorites listing area, allowing for a more consistent experience across the website. Ultimately, this leads to a better shopping experience that helps users to more quickly navigate and search for the products they're looking for, allowing for faster checkout and faster purchasing. In the 16.2 platform, we have released an improvement to the platform's existing express order checkout feature that allows for it to be implemented now on hosted content managed websites. If you didn't already know, the Express Order Checkout feature allows targeted users ordering for a specific customer account to be able to proceed through the order checkout process without having to set any details of the order. This avoids users having to select from any billing or delivery addresses, enter any email or ordering options either. Instead, it uses predetermined settings to determine how the order is set, allowing the user to navigate directly to the order review stage and submit an order with minimal effort. Previously, this express order checkout feature was only implemented within the Todex platform's trade interface and now it has been carried across into the content managed websites, allowing the same great functionality to be used to speed up the order checkout and order submission process. The Express Order Checkout feature is typically set up for customers who raise many orders that don't require order details to change often. For content managed websites hosted on the platform, we have added the ability to display flags against products shown within a basket product listing area. If a flag is assigned to a product, such as a flag labeled featured, new, on sale, or discontinued, then after a user adds one of these products to their basket, then within the basket's products listing area, there is the ability to now display the flags against the products there as well. By showing flags, it can help inform the user of the importance of these products that are currently in their basket, and that may lead to increased satisfaction based on the type of products being purchased, or lead to removing certain products in the basket if it's no longer recommended to be purchased. Product flags are a great way to highlight products that have extra importance and can provide great indicators that may be used in order to help sell more of certain kinds of products. Within the Todex e-commerce platform, 17.0 release, we've added an improvement to the product reviews feature so that there is the ability to allow or deny reviews being raised across a collection of products based on the product review profiles that products are assigned to. This can be important to limit the products that users are allowed to review and the products that users are not allowed to review. If you didn't already know, the Totex e-commerce platform has a feature that allows users to review products, provide a rating, choose to recommend or not recommend the products, provide a summary, as well as an extended review, and optionally also choose from different criteria to rate different parts of a product. Within the administration center, products can be grouped into different product review profiles and each profile can then control what criteria and options are available to be filled out. We have added two new settings within the product review profile criteria and options where we can control if any products assigned to this profile are allowed to be reviewed and allowed the review form to be shown with that product, as well as when a product review is submitted to determine whether or not that review should immediately appear on the website or else have it pending waiting review by an administrator user who can review and then choose whether or not to show that review on the website. This can be important to ensure that only legitimate reviews appear against products 
and also to stop reviews displaying that are illegitimate. We have changed the platform's integration to the Google Analytics service in the 17.0 release to now support Google Analytics for service. If you didn't already know, the Totex platform supports businesses hosting content managed websites for integrated online ordering and e-commerce workflows. And anytime a user on a hosted content managed website raises and submits an order through the order checkout submission area, there is the ability to have the order data also be submitted to the Google Analytics service that may provide additional insights, reporting and trends using the sales order data. Previously in the Totex e-commerce platform's 15.01 release, we added support for Google Analytics Universal Analytics name service, as well as using Google's Tag Manager service to push order data from a website into a Google Analytics account. Google has now dropped support for its Universal Analytics service and instead has replaced it with the Google Analytics 4 name service. As such, the Totex e-commerce platform has now been also updated to only support the Google Analytics 4 service. In the 17.0 platform release within the administration center's search users interface, we've added the ability to display additional customer account fields associated with the customer account that each user is directly assigned to. Within the search users interface, within the user search table, you can now select the customer account field that you wish to display with other users' data, such as showing the company name or whether or not a specific customer account is active that the user may order on behalf of. Now, if that's not enough, there's a whole bunch of smaller improvements not featured in this release video that can be found by going to the totex.com website, clicking on the help menu, then clicking on forums. Within the releases forum, looking at the 16.2 and 17.0 release notes to find more details about these hidden gems. If you wish to learn in depth about any of the features discussed in this video, check out the releases playlist on the YouTube channel where you can find in-depth feature videos and learn how to set up and use each of these features individually. And if you subscribe to the Totex YouTube channel, you can also be aware when we release great new videos. If you need any further help, visit the totex.com website or contact us for any assistance. You can also follow on by clicking on the video shown here to begin seeing the first detailed videos for these releases. Otherwise, have a good day.